Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and welcome to What's the Point? Once again, this is a Tongren Quantum Tutorial, which will look at Thoracic Vertebrae 5, also known as T5. Through Tongren Healing's experience, the nerve pathways exiting Thoracic Vertebrae 5 are said to innervate the heart in the pericardium. The where's and why's of the basic points discussed in this video, of course, come from the book Tom Tam Healing System, written by Tom Tam. Why do we use the doll and the hammer? In Tongren Quantum Healing, we use the doll and the hammer as a means to connect with the collective unconsciousness. As the quantum mechanics theory regarding entanglement is followed, when we tap the doll, the energy can affect another object, and in our case, a person or persons. So as I tap the doll in this video, the energy radiates to you and any possible blockages at T5. And thoracic vertebrae number five is located just about here on the Tongren doll. The number one killer in America are stress-related diseases, in particular cardiovascular diseases, which can lead to heart attacks and stroke. Many patients feel there is something wrong with their heart, yet test results often reveal there are no problems. The beating of the heart is controlled by the autonomic nervous system. Although doctors have been well trained in this field of study, they haven't been trained to examine the relationship of the heart with the autonomic nervous system. Typical symptoms of stress are a regular heartbeat and tachycardia, aka fast beating heart. When there is a muscular knot putting pressure on or pin pinching, the autonomic nerve regulating the heart, the heart will experience irregularities. According to traditional Chinese medicine, the heart controls both the physiological as well as the emotional psychological functions of the body. Therefore, a pinched nerve has the capacity to alter a person's emotional well-being too. Traditional Chinese medicine also believes that the pericardium is the guardian of the heart. And when evil chi attacks the heart, this is the first place it will go, thus disturbing the heart's balance. The pericardium meridian would be the first place treated in this case. In the practice of Tongren, T5 left is used to treat the emotional heart and T5 right is used to treat the pericardium. When diagnosing heart problems, the left side of T5 almost always has a knot. However, occasionally, a knot will be found on the right side of T5, so it is important to check both sides. Many times people have heart disease and doctors can't detect this with their regular diagnostic equipment. According to traditional Chinese medicine, the heart controls the blood and the sweat. It is confusing to look at the connection between these two fluids, but in the Tongren healing system, it is easy to understand to see the connection between these two fluids as often T4 and T5 are blocked at the same time. Once again, T4 connects with the sweat glands. When T4 is blocked, the tension can be passed to T5. Often treating T5 left can help with emotional disturbances. As mentioned, at least 80% of American patients will have a blockage in the T4, T5 area regardless of their complaint. As the heart is on the left side of the body, usually the left side of T5 is most effective. Many times when someone has swelling in the foot, the doctor will diagnose this as being caused by the heart. In this case, Opening a blockage at T5 can lower the swelling. And we finish up each treatment by tapping down the kidney meridian as the chi flows freely from head to toe, releasing through the feet into the earth, liver three, kidney one. Once again, my name is Sarah, and thank you for sharing this Tongren tutorial with me.